title of this video should be Help Me, My Love Letter is Wrinkled. <laughs> It shouldn't be, that's not, that's not a good title. I got this for $10, where it had stripes. A flea market painted it over it. So now it looks like this expensive canvas is $10. We're gonna make wall art, $10. 1986, that's me. This week, one year ago, I got to collaborate with eight amazing channels and I linked to them at the end of this video. You can buy an inexpensive canvas or, or I'm repurposing this one right here. First thing you want to do, get some paint on there with any tool that you want to use. I'm using a wide plastic putty knife, but you can use any with any type of tool you want. And if for texture, you want to put it on different directions. We're not trying to apply it perfectly all in one direction. That way you get a lot of texture. Especially if you use a, a clay-based paint like this one from Debbie's Design Diary called DIY Paint. I put a second color over the top of the first one, which is called Petticoat Pink. I'm also using a, a narrower putty knife just for some variation. It really doesn't matter whatever you have. When Mike went to college, a year before me, because he was a year older, six months, I was convinced that he would of course, find a beautiful college girl and dump me. He's in college now. And then he said, I'm gonna write you every day. Okay, I start watching for uh, letters. So I'm waiting two days, three days, no letter, no letter. And so, and then he didn't call again either. I thought, this is it, this is it, we're done. If I finally get a letter, if you have any stencils you wanna use, I'm gonna show you how to do a raised stencil. It's very simple. And uh, you can see here, I mean, you cut out uh, a heart shape out of cardboard. We want to make a hole with the shape so that we can fill it with texture, with plaster. So I use this stuff, well, hardware stores and things, the Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, those places. It's by DAP. It's lightweight spackling. I'm going to drag it across this stencil. I'm gonna go this way because it'll squish it up under there. So I've got cardboard. If you want to use a poster board and you don't want as much texture, raise your hand if you see a better way to do this. Oh, look at that. Don't question yourself, just do it. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> The plaster or spackle stays soft for, for quite a while so you have time to clean it up or fix it. Hit it with my putty knife. Pull it back this way a little bit. Mm-hmm, I like it. It's kind of a raw heart, if you will. Look. Rolled out the dough. Now I'm gonna go just scrape this off. Yeah. Let's add more flowers. Oh, it's been five days, six days, a week. I'm like, fine. I'm, I'm not gonna. I can try to call him because he'll just be gone. He'll just be out. And then one day. I get a letter from him and it says I picked out one sheet of um, a love, love letter from Mike and used Mod Podge to attach it to the canvas. I did uh, two coats of that. Next to seal the whole thing I applied a big top which is a, a liquid patina. It is able to seal the entire project all of those elements the spackle and the paint the Mod Podge all the things. Uh, and it won't leave any brush strokes. It's it's a fantastic. You can also use a clear wax. Uh, you just want to make sure that we seal that spackle because um, it could crumble, and we want to be able to work with it. So clear wax or a liquid patina, a top coat, all will um, seal that. Here's the letter. It's the actual letter. It's home from class. Open my mailbox. It's empty. By the time you get this, 
You should have gotten three other letters from me this week. Sorry, honey, but I'm just gonna read this little part here. Love, Mike, your long lost boyfriend. Okay, I am the drama queen. He is laid back, easy going as they come. So this is hilarious. I'm thinking he's found someone else. I get that letter, heart pounding, kind of like, what? what? He thinks I've dumped him. And what is, I never got a letter. Never got a letter, not one letter. I applied some dark and decrepit to the letter to make it look like it's aged. Fancy farm girl, a little artist brush. And I'm just gonna brush it on the leaves. DIY paint is clay-based and water-based. I think I'll do one flower in cowgirl coral. So you guys can use any color. On some mermaid tail. Kissing booth. Spray some water on here so that it'll go down into the texture we've created more easily. See that? Oh. He had never addressed on the envelope. He addressed it to himself, put my address in the return address place thing. Three times, three times. Uh, came back to him, he was like, what the? Oh. So that first week was a rough one, it was rough. And he wrote me a whole pile. Once he got the address, address situation, where it's supposed to be. creates a really organic looking age to it. Dad, who said I can't think outside of the box? We have now been married 28 and a half years. What we've got going on here is, I just took a cardboard heart and I just glued that sucker right there over part of the letter just to create another element of dimension. I'm really not that creative. But that means that if you don't think you're very creative, you can still do this. I'm just throwing stuff on there and seeing how it looks. I'm gonna leave these drips because I like them. I'm using a palette knife now. So I'm just gonna dip this palette knife in and I'm gonna touch up the places that I want it to be a little more petticoat pink. But look, we can add texture. See? Okay, my favorite part, I'm applying Golden Ticket. I'm watering it down a little bit so that it provides sort of a, more of a shimmery effect over the, the whole piece. Um, and I did paint those flowers up there with it full strength. So I'm putting it on and then you can spray it even more and let it drip a little bit. So you end up with that deliciousness right there. They still smell vaguely like Stetson. As always, your time is precious and I am honored that you spent any of it watching me. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos. I'm real. I'm like JLo, only not. Cinco. Doggy daycare. It's gonna be great. He has one poem that he asks me not to repeat, which is unfortunate because it says, I hope you'll cherish them as a golfer does his glove. You with all of my love. <laughs>